nerds, Jamie here again with Iconic Effects. So today I'm just gonna do a quick tutorial for you. I'm gonna show you one of the ways to kind of help cut down the heat inside of a cow. Okay, um, I don't have a cow sitting right here with me right now, but there's two things you wanna do, okay? And, I, and when I say cut down the heat, I mean cut down the sweat and cut down the heat. And I'm gonna kind of explain what I mean by that. Most cows do not come with the nose holes in them, okay? They just don't. And I don't, I don't cut them in, in there for people because I've had people actually request they don't have them. Um, if you want a cow to be comfortable on your head and for you to be comfortable wearing it, you really need to put nose holes in it. So that's what this tutorial today is about, putting nose holes in the cow. Um, and the reasoning why we do that, I'll give you an example here, okay? So if I'm wearing a cow and my nose has no, you know, my nostrils have no place for the air to come out at or for it to go or whatever, all of that moisture and that heat that you're breathing out because you breathe primarily through your nose is just going to keep building up and building up and building up in that cow, okay? It has nowhere to go. So not only are you adding the moisture of your sweat, but now you're adding the moisture of your lungs to it as well. So it kind of sucks. You don't want to be running in water. Hopefully this will kind of help out. Anyways, stay tuned guys, I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? Alright guys, give it up here for my uh, co-host, the 89 cowl. That's right, this is the same cowl that showed you guys how to make a, a cowl fit your head. Um, so what I have done was I made two quick, um, I took a marker and I kind of made two quick nose hole marks in the nose to kind of figure out where I was trying to aim for. And then I have now taken my solder iron and I've heated it up. Okay, so now it should be nice and hot. And all I'm going to do is aim, you know, I'm going to kind of go for those marks and I'm going to take this solder iron and I'm going to push it right through. You're going to see a lot of smoke. Simple enough. Melted right through without a problem. Um, if I want, I'm just going to kind of enlarge them a little bit. And, yep, good enough. Now I'm not going to lie to you. This shit stinks, okay? It fucking stinks. Um, and it's probably pretty shitty to be breathing it as well. So we're kind of giving it just a second here. We're going to do the other side. Um, let's see. There's the mark right there. And done. So now I got two nose holes in my cowl. Yep. Done deal. Yeah, it looks pretty straight. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so as you can see, there they are, they're already in place. Now what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of alcohol, I'm gonna wipe all this stuff up, and I'll be back with you guys in just a second. So as you just saw in the previous segment, of course, I put the nose holes in the 89 cowl. I'm trying to show you guys right here, the lighting's not that great, but you can kind of see it right there. Um, these are a little small. I, I would, if to be honest with you, if this was my personal cowl that you know I was gonna be wearing, I would actually, um, probably open them up a little bit more just because for me that would be you know that'd be what I'd want it to do um, but this will help cut down on that heat you know I noticed a giant difference about six seven years ago when I was wearing cowls a little bit more often that when I cut the nose holes in it that it just immediately felt more comfortable um, and now all of my cows get nose holes in them uh, but this is a nice you know easy simple way to do this uh, disclosure don't do this in a bathroom. Don't lock yourself in a closet and try and do this shit. You don't want to be breathing that melted, smoky, crappy urethane in. I happen to be here in the office right now, so I don't really care. And for the most part, this gets pretty good ventilation. But do it where there's good ventilation, man. You don't want to be, like I said, you don't want to be breathing the shit in your lungs. Um, if you guys have any questions about this, any questions about anything else, again, just send an email info at iconic-effects.com or check out the website www.iconic-effects.com uh, Till next time nerds I'll be seeing you